let's get active. I'm Coach Brill. Thank you for tuning in to Teach Phys Ed. This activity is called Hula Hoop Leap. And this is a cooperative one that we use with our students. So some things you're going to need. We've got our Beanie Baby animals. You can use anything through here uh, that you want the kids to collect, like uh, bean bags, bean bag scarves, playing cards, poker chips, whatever you want them to collect in this activity. We also lined our sidelines up with some hula hoops as well with a bucket. Now each team is going to need two hula hoops and we put our students, we let them be in teams of three or four, however they see fit, and we, they pick their own hula hoop. So when they started, they start all inside the very first hula hoop. This is kind of like a cross the river activity. So then the next person, we put it in front of us and we all have to get into the second hula hoop before we pick up the one behind us. And now we move this forward and then we move forward leap or jump into the next one and grab it and we keep working our way to the middle now some of the students they like to go a little further away and we said that's okay but remember you got to reach back for this hula hoop and we told them if you touch the floor to reach back you have to start again so then the kids would have to go back and start again so anytime they touch the floor it's a automatic restart now when the students get all the way to the middle we told them Everybody needs to be in this last hula hoop before they get one of their collections. So then they would grab their item and now they would work their way back. Anybody who does not uh, land in the hoop or uh, touches the floor outside the hoop, the item, if they have an item, has to come back to the middle and they restart. Now once they get all the way back using that same process of moving the hula hoop, they then put it inside their bucket. This part's kind of optional if you don't have the buckets. It just gives a nice place so the kids know where they're putting their items. Uh, <clears throat> sometimes they'll fill up pretty quickly and it's okay if they overflow. Uh, we also told the kids if there was a one animal, and, you, and I don't have it fully set up, but normally this is spread out all the way down the middle here. Uh, if there's an, an animal down the other end they wanna get, they have to do that stepping through the hula hoop process. Um, our kids seem to really get into this one and I hope yours do as well. I'm Coach Pearl reminding you, to keep on moving.